Hi. Tell, tell me your name again. Reagan Elwarnema. Elwarnema. Whoa, that's a beautiful name. Okay, I'm ready. I really like books. What's your favorite book and why? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so I really like The Little Engine That Could. To me, it's a book about people or trains that are kind of underrated, but they don't give up, and they just keep saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and they get the job done. You like that one, Rachel? Yeah. I love your question. Why did you decide to run for president? Oh, because I have two granddaughters who are just a little bit older than you are and a grandson who's a little younger than you are. And I figure Bruce and I, that's my husband, we've, we've done pretty good. We've been blessed. Uh, we've had a lot of doors open for us, and we're deeply grateful for those opportunities. But I worry about the world that you and my grandchildren are going to grow up in. I worry about this planet. I worry about this country and the state of our democracy. And not in a million years did I ever think I'd run for any public office. But a few years back, the fight kind of came to my door. And there was a Republican senator who represented me and represented the other folks from Massachusetts. And I just basically disagreed with him on everything he voted for, pretty much. <laughs> and so I got in the fight. And I started out, I was down 17 points. I ended up beating him by seven and a half points. And, and I learned that if you know why you're in a fight and you know who you're fighting for, and I do, that you get out there, and it's, it's a little like Reagan and I were talking about. You just kind of get out there like the little engine that could. And you say every single day, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, until I get the job done. And that's what I'm going to do running for president. Thank you. Thank you.